Hi, I'm George Victory, musician, vocalist, entertainer. And when I want to get into some serious cultural activities that would make my bloody cringe, I tune into Culture Share, and you do the same. Peace out. of Squeezy in the background from Grenada with one of his latest ones for 94, Mako. It's great to be with you once again. This is where the action is. I am Harold Paisidi and this is Culture Share. This is Kai Soka time once again. Stick with us for the next hour. We're going to have happy times. We're going to begin with what we can call the Soka Anthem. You have seen it a few times on Culture Share, but you have not seen it in New York City. This is the Road March King from TNT for 1994, Preacher. And this is a picturesque jump and wave. Oh, hey, back there, oh, hey.
on culture share from preacher we go to another kind of calypso well they say christopher columbus discovered the west indies but when he reached down in the west indies he saw the indians who were there before so columbus lie let's join kaisonian shadow columbus was a mighty sailor he sailed the open seas he went down in the caribbean and he called it the west indies he said he found a new world and he expect me to believe but how could this world be new when it's much older than Adam and Eve? Columbus lie, Columbus lie, Columbus lie, Columbus lie, lie, lie. He said he discovered, oh yeah, 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 the whole of America. He never tell nobody. He got some good licks from Apache. Columbus lie. Columbus lie, Columbus lie like hell. I believe his head was well. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nani yana, nani yana. Nana yana, uni yana, yani yana. Fire. Adi, ay, 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 The man with the Santa Maria was as brave as a man can be. He sailed down to Venezuela for another discovery. He said he discovered new lands, but he thought that I wouldn't know. He discovered a lot of Indians who discovered the lands before. Columbus lie, sing it with me, yeah. Columbus lie, Columbus lie. Columbus lie, lie, lie He took all the glory, oh yeah For many discoveries The truth of the story Those lands were discovered already Columbus lie Columbus lie Columbus lie like hell I am sure he said was well oh, 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 oh. The moon Nowadays, 
days you enter a strange land. They call you an alien. You got to explain to immigration what is your intention. Columbus didn't have to do that. It just didn't make no sense. His authority was a broad hat and his passport was violence. Columbus lies. Say it with me, yeah. Columbus lies. Columbus lies. Columbus lied, he said he discovered, oh yeah, 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 the whole of America, he never tell nobody, he gets some good licks from a party, Columbus lied, oh, 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 oh. Columbus lied, Columbus lied so bad, I am sure Columbus was mad, oh, 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 oh. I don't like Columbus, and this truth is that you are right. Though his name will be always famous, for me that man was a blight. He discovered North America, he discovered the West Indies, the same place they sent me for fathers and subject them to slavery. Columbus lied, hey, hey, oh. Columbus lied, oh, 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 oh. Columbus lied. Columbus lied, lied, lied. He said he discovered, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole of America. He never tell nobody. He had to run from Apache. Columbus lied. Oh, 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 oh. Columbus lied. Columbus lied like hell. I believe his head was too well. Oh, no, 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 no. Shadow performing in Toronto, Canada on Culture Share. We're on the pulse of the Calypso beat. Stay with us. Jamo is undoubtedly one of the Calypsonians with the better voices in the art form. He's the five times Calypso monarch of Grenada. Here he is with one of his classy ditties, Love. I can hear the voices of my brothers and sisters Crying out for help in the wilderness And every time I think about Ethiopia my eyes just filled with tears, my mind wouldn't rest So many people dying from starvation And innocent blood running in Africa Yet for all I see them big superpowers Spending so much billion promoting war Come my people, you better take precaution 
Dem Master komm hier wegen von It will be Brimstone and Fire Burning all them oppressors This script ya sing According to your works you must get paid No partiality could never end as I am with So you better straighten up the It's too late I tell you love, show a little love Just a little love Cause it's no disgrace I tell you love, please show a little love Just a little love And make this one a better place My little brother in this love Little sister in this love Don't let it read and violence the control we need love, need somebody That's the only way I think we could save this world We need love, we need love, just a little love This world needs some love Although them say that life today is a hustle And survival is for who could play the game Still some people take advantage of situation Exploiting their own brother for a big Equality seems like it's now a password Nobody wants to hear about that anymore Peace and love is way behind the horizon And crime and violence is now on the go For oh my people, it's time to reconcile Cause life was never meant to be so hostile Get up on this evil trend Why can't you and me be friends? Violence wouldn't pay There must be a better way Let me scratch your back And my brother you scratch mine And I show that everything will be fine I tell you love Show a little love Just a little love Cause it's no disgrace I tell you love, please show a little love Just a little And make this one a better place My little brother My little sister Don't let it treat and violence They control everybody Need somebody That's the only way I think we could save this world A Jamo on Culture Share. Well, we did say that a Jamo possesses one of the better voices in the art form, and that is true. Calypsonian Baron is also a Calypsonian with a sweet voice, and uh, Eddie Lovett is a well known balladeer. Well, when these two artists came together at the Brooklyn College, it was a great moment, so you could understand the ultimate satisfaction on the faces of the audience. And I don't care what's right or wrong. Yesterday is dead and gone, you know. And tomorrow's on to sad. Sweep it away, just get it on out of your life. 
It's so sad to be alone It's so sad to be alone uh, Help me make, make it Can we get on the place of reggae? Give me a little reggae dude. Let me hear you. I take the ribbons from your head. Shake it loose and let it fall. Let it fall. Lay it soft against my skin. Lay it soft against your skin. Like the shadow bouncing off the wall. <laughs> Come and lay down by my side. Come on and lay down by my Till the early morning light Till the early morning rise All I'm taking is your time All I'm taking is your time But I'll make it through the day Take it! Clean out of sight. It is so, so sad to be alone. So sad to be alone. Uh, help me make it through the night. Hey, brother, can you help me make it through the night? You think it's, it's so, so sad, sad to be alone? Uh, help me make it through the night. Give me that one more time. It's so sad to be alone. <laughs> But help me make it through the night It's so sad to be alone Hey Byron, you know what? You know what? Everybody say that you look like my brother Well boy, my father was a hot man <laughs> And if that's true, I got some land to say down in the Everglades, very cheap <laughs> It's so sad to, to be, be alone. alone Please You don't get it like that very often. Eddie Lovett and Baron help me make it through the night on Culture Share. We'll be back with an artist who is most times a guitarist, sometimes a Calypsonian, and sometimes a gospel singer. What we are lacking here now is the lyrics. We are lacking lyrics in the Calypso music. Now we are going for the soca beat, which means that less lyrics and more music and people are complaining about this and I think they are justified in their complaint because Cal Calypso really is a story and with a story of course you must have lyrics
George Vitry is a versatile musician. He's a guitarist, a Calypsonian, and sometimes a gospel singer. Well, this year he made it to the semi-finals of the competition in Trinidad and Tobago, and quite a happy gentleman he was. Well, here he is doing his patriotic song, Trinbago My Home, at the Boys and Girl High School in Brooklyn. I 
roam However I roam Sweet friend Vega will always be mine Oh, 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 oh sweet home oh, oh, oh. George Victory, Trent Bago, my home on Culture Share. Well, it was great uh, running into George once again. This time it was at uh, Calypso City in Queens, New York, and we took the time off to have a chat with each other. Well, you know, George is a versatile musician who has toured with international artists like uh, Mick Jagger, the uh, Fatback Band, and BT Express, to name a few. And uh, he's also a Trinidadian and is involved in Calypso music. So I began by asking him, how did it start? It started from my parents, you know, my father and my mother, they sang in church. My father used to sing on a cruise ship also, you know, my mother, she was um, like a vocal trainer for the, um, in Trinidad for the, um, those cultural um, activities, you know, all those old folk songs, you know. So um, I sit around and listen to everybody sing, you know, and then when they're not looking, I'll go in a corner and try my little thing, you know what I mean? And um, I had an uncle from St. Vincent. He, had to, he used to play a box guitar. And every time he leave for work, I would sneak in his room, you know, climb through. I had where I used to unlatch his window, you know what I mean, climb in and put his guitar. The guitar was this big, you know, to me. I was a kid. I, all out here was guitar, and I started playing one string at a time. It sounds good. Then I started singing like, you know, the Jesus say I am the way, because that was my smart move. Because um, if your parents see you playing music at that time, you know, they say, oh, that's a vagabond thing, you know what I mean? So if they hear me singing a gospel song and playing, they will say, good boy, you know? So that's I went ahead with that. Hey, yeah, that's my son, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I started from there playing a, a guitar. Um, but really and truly, I was more into the singing at the time. And then I stopped, started playing guitar with uh, Bird Billy and the Jets, then traveled with Sparrow extensively as a um, lead guitarist. Then I forgot about singing. Forgot totally about singing. And then um, Fat Back Band called me, you know? Started back doing some background vocals there. Then with Jimmy Castor and these different people. And um, things just started building. But what I think is um, being on the road with Fat Back and Danny King and all these different people, that was my schooling, vocal training. You know, because um, I remember doing sessions and you say, oh baby, you know, and I say, oh baby, and they say, hey, we don't want that Caribbean thing, it's over. <laughs> you know, you know, so I had to train myself to sound differently. And then the breathing exercises is entirely different from when you're singing in Trinidad, you know, so it was a good help for me. Then we went on to the Commodore's North American tour. And then Lionel Richie would always say, man, you got a throat, man, you better start using it, you know what I mean? So. Things just started happening, you know what I mean? But I stick with both of them, voice and whatever instrument I could put my hands on, you know? Survival. Were you somewhat afraid then that uh, if you had to come back to say play Calypso that um, you may have forgotten the, the rootical aspect of playing it? Let me give you this joke. <laughs> well, when I came back into the studio for the first time after leaving the Commodore store, North American tour with Fatback, um, they called me in to do a session with myself, Jeff Medina, a uh, few of the cats were playing around, Frankie McIntosh, you know. Um, so I sat around at first and listened to everybody, how they're attacking it, you know what I mean? Then I went into the bathroom and I started to just tell myself I'm in Trinidad for Carnival and I started to do all kind of things in the bathroom. <laughs> just to get back that vibe, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, then I came out, I listened some more, took up my guitar and started playing, you know fell right back into it, but it was a kind of hesit hesitant move for me to just stick up the guitar and, okay, record and start strumming Calypso, you know, because I had that funk in between it, but it helped, because um, while we were playing the first track, somebody in the um, control room said, hey, I like that pattern you're playing, Victory. I said, yeah, okay, so then I started just rubbing it in, you know what I mean, so it created a style. You know, so anytime they hear my guitar on any track, people can say, yeah, that's Victory's track, you know? But, um, were, were you the one who played that very, um, um, that very rocky sounding guitar and Sparrow Slave on the last album? Mm -hmm. I said, that is Victory! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, yeah. That was it. I said, that's a Victory mm -hmm. sound. Yep, yeah, that was me. I was surprised that um, he accepted it too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I said, wow, you know, but it went on. 
pretty but good from there. You made the semi-finals in Trinidad for a Carnival yeah. 1994, and um, you know that's a big thing for George Victory, I'm oh, sure. Yeah, it was. I mean, that's a that must have made you feel like a, a real Trini. Yeah, a real, real Trini man, adopted again. You know, <laughs> um, the first night I performed in um, San Fernando, Skinner Park. That's when the um, the Calypso tent that I sang in um, Spectacular went down there. Five minutes before I went on stage, it hit me. Oh shucks, I'm in Skinner's Park. You know, that's a testing ground. It's either they throw mud on you or hit you with orange peel in your face or something, you know what I mean? I walked on stage and there were these ladies in front of the stage with big pieces of wood in their hands. <laughs> you know, and they said, you better sing good, you know, and they beat in the end of the stage, you know. George Victory on Culture Share. Stay with us. Let's go to Soka Bad at Jala right now. Jump up and get on Bad! Jump, 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 jump,
mashing down Toronto on Culture Share. That's all we have for you this week. Join us again same time next time around. Till then, say a prayer for the children and all power to you. Take it off.